Welcome to Math with Wong. Today we're going to look at number eight of the May 2024 paper two. And you can see this is a, a trigonometry uh, or a modeling question. So part eight, you're given the equation. And you have all the parameters, your A and your C, your K and your D. Right? A, K, D, Z is our given. You're given a sketch uh, from zero to 15 hours, starting at midnight. Uh, low tide, the height is 0.5. So the lowest point is 0.5. And the highest point is 3.76. Okay, so part A, the length of time between the first low tide, which here, and the first high tide, which is there, it's six hours and M minutes. Find the value of M to the nearest integer. Well, since this is a paper two and you have a equation of graph, you can graph this using a graphing calculator. Again, just make sure um, I would change the mode to radians, right? And then I sketch it. If you have the graphing calculator, you can find the minimum and you can find the maximum. And that's gonna give you a half the period, right? And you can just subtract them. Um, so if I do that, I would have, let me using my graphing calculator to double check. Uh, this point should be 5.13801. This point should be 11.2619. So if I take those two numbers and subtract each other, I am getting 6.12396. Right. Uh, we want six hours and M minutes. So this is 0 0.12396 of an hour. You times by 60 minutes, and that is 7.4344 minutes. Um, and they run the round it off to the nearest integer. So if they want the nearest integer, then it would be um, m is equal to uh, 7 minutes. Another way to look at it is you're given the k value. Um, you can actually find a period by using 2 pi divided by the k value of 0 0.513. Uh, this would be half the period. OK, so that's another way of doing it. The period is equal to. Or 2 pi divided by. 0 0.513. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take out my calculator. 2 pi divided by 0 0.513. And that is 12.2479. 2458. And between low tide to high tide is half of the period. Half of the period is going to equal to half times that, which is your 6.12396.2288. Right. And then again, you round it off. You can, can multiply this part by 60 minutes and you turn it into the minutes. OK. So that's part A. Uh, what about part B? Part B, it says between two consecutive high ties. So high tie, one high tie is probably going to be somewhere here. That's the second high tie. Or if you want to continue on uh, over here and grab another kind of like group, that's another high tie. So it said between two consecutive high tie, determine the length of time in hours will reach the height of the water is less than one meter. 
Well, we know the minimum was 0.5 and the maximum was 3. Point, uh, was 6, 7, 7, 6, 3.76. So where is one meter? Well, one meter is going to be somewhere over here, right? Uh, between two high tide, we want to know the length of time. So really, it's the difference between these two dots. So we can make this, again, Y1 into your graphing calculator. And we're going to do Y2 is equal to one. One meter tall. and then you're finding the intersection between the two graphs. Second, trace, five is intersect, right? Enter three times, you get one dot. Second trace, five, enter two times, move it over to that dot, you get the second dot. Uh, okay, so I use the graphing calculator here and I am getting this first dot uh, is 3.56919. That dot. Uh, the second dot is 6.70684. Okay. So, how long is that? Because they want the length of time. So, the length of time in hours would be the difference between those two numbers. So, you take 6.70684, take away. 3.56919, round off to three sig fig, and I get 3.14 hours. Right? So there are 3.14 hours where the water is less than one meter tall. That's part B. Uh, okay, part C. Oh, the keyword here, find a rate of change. Anytime you see rate of change, you say, oh, that is a derivative. So now you can take the derivative here and sub in t equals to 13. Whoops, I don't want a crayon. So you can do h prime at 13. So take the derivative and sub in 13. But since this is a paper two, uh, there's an easier way of coming up with the answer by using your graphing calculator. Uh, that's going to be second trace. Six right? That's your dy over dx. And then they ask you to um, sub in the x value. So x value is 13. Press enter and you get the uh, derivative at that point. Um, again, round up to three sig fig. You should be getting negative 0 0.651 and the unit would be meters per hour. Okay. Second trace six, which is dy over dx, the sub in x equals 13, and press enter, you should be able to get at the answer. If you don't want to do that, you can definitely do your derivative, right? Derivative sine is cosine, right? Just make sure there's a chain of 0 0.513. Make sure you multiply by the chain, right? But it's more work. On a paper two, might as well just use the graphing calculator. Okay, part D is you have a a different function where this time they give you the maximum height the minimum height and they give you the time from low tide to high tide which is again half the period and you're asked to find the letters uh well akdc or for ib they use the letter a b c d so a and d are the vertical, which related to the maximum and the minimum. B and C are the horizontal, which is related to the time that's given. Okay, uh, so let's take a look. The A value is equal to the maximum minus the minimum divided by two. So I am getting uh, 1.17. The D value, again, D value is on the outside, right? A, B, C, D is the letters that we use. It would be 2.74 plus 0 0.4 divided by 2. Maximum plus the minimum divided by 2. And I'm getting 1.57. Okay, those are the two easy ones. 
Then we want uh, the B value. The B value is always two pi divided by the period. So I need to figure out what the period is, right? Um, so we go from 241 to 902. So how many minutes is that? Well, that is um, six hours and 21 minutes. Six hours and 21 minutes. So you took 21 divided by 60. And you get 0 0.35. So this is equal to 6.35 of an hour. Right? 6.35 hours. 21 minutes is 0.35 of an hour. Okay. Now, this is half a period because this is from minimum to maximum. Minimum to maximum, it's only going to be half the period. So the period is going to be two times that, which is going to be 12.7 hours. So the B value is going to be 2 pi divided by 12.7, right? Um, if you uh, want to leave it as exact answer, it would be um, 60 pi over 381. I would probably do that. Um, but IB also accepts 3 sig fig, which is um, 0. 0.5. 495 that would be your b value okay uh well lastly we need to figure out um the horizontal shift the c value okay so what we are looking for here is for um the sine function sine function we're looking at uh, the middle Right. Remember, cosine function, we're looking for the top, the peak. The sine function, we're looking at the middle. Now, where is the middle? Well, the middle would be halfway between low tie and high tie. So we're looking at the halfway between 241 and 902. So C value is going to be halfway between 241. So think of it as 41 over 60, right, uh, in terms of hours, and uh, 902. So nine hours and two out of 60, right, halfway between 241 and 902. So we're going to add up that in terms of hours and then or in minutes and you can divide it by by two in terms of number of hours uh and i'm punching the calculator here and i'm getting rounded off to three six fig uh 5.86 five hours and 0.6 of an hour so that would be my um uh, c value because that's how far i shifted to the right for um, the middle, right? Halfway between the minimum and the maximum. So here we got our model of A, 1.17, a B, 0 0.495, C, 5.86, and D of 1.57. And if I want to rewrite the equation, um, the height is equal to h of t is equal to the a value which is uh, 1.17 sine 2k divided by uh, the period or 0 0.495 t minus 5.86 plus 1.57, okay? Okay, now moving on to part E. Part E is um, that the two have the same height. 
Well, that means the y value are equal to each other. So basically, you are finding the um, the point of intersection between the two. So um, you're going to go back to the original function that's given, which is this guy here. That's the uh, first. Thought I copied it. How come it's not showing up? Oh, it's not letting me copy. Well, this is your uh, Y1, which is the 1.63. That's the original question that's given. Uh, what you came up with, this would be your Y2. And then you're going to see where they intersect um, because that would be the time where they have the exact same height. Um, you want to find the first x value to the right of the um, y axis, right? So using my Gryphon calculator here, second trace five, enter three times, find, P O I second trace five enter 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 and I'm getting a point of intersection round up to three six fake it uh, would be um four point one six hours okay so this is a trigonometric modeling question right a typical what we call AKDC question a and C is the vertical values, which you can find from the maximum and the minimum. The K and the D is the horizontal values, which you can figure out from the time of the minimum and the maximum. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching.